Lacrosse fans, welcome to day three of the 2010 Federation of International Lacrosse Men's World Championships. It was Super Saturday in Manchester, England, as two Blue Division matches pitted longtime rivals. In the Ashes game, the long standing rivalry between Australia and the host nation, England, the Aussies raced out to a 6 2 lead at the half. 30 second technical being called. So that's. Uh not for a personal foul, it's just a rule infringement. Oh. Great shot. Very good goal from Australia there. You just check that was 13, Stephen Mortimer, possibly. Here we go. Lines up. Great shot. Pace oh, straight through McAllister. McAllister beat top left. Let's have a look at it from behind the goal. Look at the pace on that. Oh. Straight through. England win possession. They go straight to goal. High. Oh, good check. Great check. Goal, oh. England. Great, great play. Unbelievable. This is turning into a great game. And the defence huddle as well. They're all having a huddle there. Great stuff from England. Great goal from Adam Sear at the other end for Australia. England win the ball from the face off. Great break. Great right shot, bounce shot, oh. bottom right hand corner, super shot. Gareth Allen, Lee Perham here on the edge, looking for that feed for that shot. Ball is with uh, Allen. Back to Perham, inside. Shot, goal! Oh. Great goal for Australia. Well worked finish. Beautiful goal for Australia. And could that be the significant moment in this match? Here's the move in, it's a quite a long distance shot. Really surprised, there you go, that's quite a distance out. And uh, oh. McAllister won't be happy with that at all. The Australia-England game was our first Blue Division tie. In the overtime period, the Aussies pulled it out by a final score of 10 to eight in front of over 5,000 fans, a sellout crowd. The final game of the day featured a rematch of the 2008 championship game as the USA took the face off against Canada. Here are the many highlights from that game. Right, this is the replay, it's at full pace, Billy, watch this Billy again. D, Billy D. Smith on the ball, number 21. And this is the play of the day, because what a solo full length ball this of the field. is. Oh. No angle to shoot at at all, players need to have a role and need to work off ball. With the Americans at junior level, uh, there tends to be a lot more isolation where they look to get the ball and then when you've got the ball, you try to beat your man. With the Canadians, they're constantly working off ball to create a space so one of their teammates can find them with the pass and then it's the quick stick finish. But a perfect example there of Garrett Billings doing all the work off ball to beat, get half a yard on his man, um, got recognised by John Grant, it gave him the ball and beautiful finish on the run. Oh, this is great lacrosse. Oh, <laughs> this is absolutely vintage lacrosse. It doesn't get any better than this. What another... Superb goal. If you look up at the textbook, what a catch and shoot is, that is pretty much, there should be a, a, a little mi a video clip of that goal. Caught and released in one motion, low to high. Sanderson had no chance on this. Drew Westervel nails the top corner, off stick side high. Matt Strebel with the assist. Really was in his stick for half a, not even half a second. Look, this is it. He lines Bang. you up and just stops oh. dead. Yeah. Back with a live action, it was worth watching that replay. One-handed oh. goal. <laughs> Unbelievable. John Grant Jr. near post. He's, he's got his defenseman wrapped around him. Defender's lifting his stick and lifting his offside arm. So he's only got one-handed on the stick. Just scoops it underneath and manages to get it on cage with enough power and accuracy to beat Brian Doherty on the near post. This game featured some of the top players in the world who showcased their talent in a close game with Canada squeaking by the U.S. with a final score of 10 to 9. And now our Day 3 Super Saturday Play of the Game, featuring Team Canada player John Grant Jr. with a phenomenal behind-the-back goal. They played zone. Yeah, confusion as to where the ball had gone then from everybody. This is John Grant Jr. And USA are doing a man-for-man -man defense Behind well. the goal, goal oh! on the run. There's a signature move. Brian Doherty was there, ball was screened, he's cradling in the ball, leaning into this defender, and as part of his cradle, he just releases it behind his back, 
Brian Doherty got beat near post. I'll be very disappointed about that one. Well, here's a good look, and that's for a shot. Oh, that's unbelievable. First, we've seen two goals here, which are probably two of the best goals we've seen yeah, in this competition. One of the advantages.